Well, we had quite a bit of rain move through last night, at least along the I-70 corridor. That's where that cold front was stalled out for us. You can see just how strong some of those storms were as we went through the later parts of last night into the early morning hours today, but that has since pushed off to the east for us. We likely will have another round of strong storms as we go throughout the night tonight because that front is still going to be hanging around for us. So this yellow area here, this is a slight risk for severe thunderstorms as we go throughout the late evening tonight into the overnight hours. And any storms that do develop could have the potential to have some large hail, maybe some damaging wind gusts as well, and certainly some locally heavy rainfall will be possible too. So here's a look at our future track. We'll start this at 930 this morning just to show you that it's going to be quite a cloudy day across northeast Kansas. We might see a few peaks of sunshine here and there throughout the afternoon, but overall I think we'll be dealing with the clouds pretty much all day long today. Now as we get closer to the evening, we will start to see some showers, maybe some thunderstorms begin to fire up for us across northeast Kansas. They'll be pretty scattered, maybe some few and far between ones, but if any do develop, like I said before, they could be on the strong to severe side, so we'll be watching these very closely throughout the overnight hours tonight, but it does push off to the east as we get into the early morning hours on Saturday, and then we might see maybe just a slight chance for some lingering showers throughout the daytime on Saturday as well. Temperatures, though, we're starting off very mild out there across northeast Kansas. All of us are in the 50s, lower 50s to the north, a little bit warmer to the south in the mid 50s, and we'll likely see that really big temperature difference again today as well because that cold front will still be stalled across the area. So look what happens to our afternoon temperatures. We'll likely see those cooler low to mid 50s to the north, warmer upper 60s, maybe even low 70s to the south. And then the same thing happens as we go throughout the overnight hours even. Look how mild we are early tomorrow morning. We could still be in the upper 60s south of I-70 and heading into the afternoon hours tomorrow. Still this really big difference in temperatures with those cooler temperatures to the north and west warmer to the south and east, but then that cold front finally pushes through the area and then we're left with cooler temperatures through the overnight hours on Saturday. Now look what happens with our wind though, because this cold front is still with us, it's going to be pulling in some southerly breezes right ahead of that front. These are our estimated wind gusts throughout the daytime on Saturday. We could have upwards of maybe upper 30s to low 40 mile per hour wind gust range for us. So definitely a very windy day to start out the weekend. The good news is our temperatures aren't going to drop off too much with the passage of this cold front. We'll most likely feel it uh, during the nighttime hours on Saturday into Sunday. But look how quickly our temperatures rebound. We're already back into the mid to upper 60s for Sunday, back to near 70 degrees for the first part of next week. But we do have another rain chance to talk about. We're in that time of the year where yeah. we have, you know, spring storms starting oh, yes. for everybody. So absolutely, we'll be tracking that as we go throughout next week. Awesome. Thank you. Beth.